go on the last frame between the clips and move around 10 frames back from the first clip. Make a cut and copy the clip. Draw now a mask around the object you want to move in this effect. Make sure you are on the first frame of the clip while drawing the mask because we will use the function track selected mask forward. Click on it and let the work do from Primary Pro. Now highlight the clip and nest it. Copy now the nested clip and look for the offset effect. Drag it to the middle clip. But look for the directional blur and drag it also to the middle clip. Then go to the effect controls and set a keyframe of the first frame on Shift Center 2. To create another keyframe and slide the effect a few times. Put the keyframe to the end and then make the direction to 90 and the blur length to 60. Now create an adjustment layer to bring some more power to this clip. Make it six frames long. Then you can copy the adjustment layer and we will drag some shakes on it. Open for that the effects and search for my shake effects. There are 22 shake effects which you can easy drag and drop on your adjustment layers. Just experiment a bit you have a lot of flashy and also basic ones there. You can combine every effect with them. To make this clip a bit unique you can also add some grain on it. You can find this grain in the description and also the shake effects. Make sure to subscribe on my YouTube channel.